This is really incredible stuff. Uh, Reengineering the human genome. Uh, this is, uh, oops, excuse me. This is taking us way beyond Star Trek or any uh, science fiction movies we've probably ever seen. Uh, leading up to this, nanomedicine, nanotechnology. My God, repairing every single cell in your body and the stem cell work we're looking at. Um, artificial general intelligence, genomics, all these incredible things that are converging. They're, 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 they're pointing us to the future to extreme, extreme healthy longevity. But it's not today. It doesn't do us any good if we're dead. Now, youth and extended youth, reversing aging, um, long, 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 long lifespans has been wishful thinking for thousands and thousands of years. And here it is, finally, at 2009, where we've developed a scientific roadmap to reverse the human aging process and to keep us young and alive and healthy indefinitely. And we have a plan to achieve this, at least a capability of doing this in a human, by the year 2029. Are we going to reach that? Well, that's our plan. And later on tomorrow, we're going to be talking about ways to achieve that plan and make it a reality. Maybe it'll be 2039 or 2049. I th I'd be real surprised if it would take us to 2049. Then when you add the law of accelerating returns to all these, how we're accelerating this rapid progression of knowledge, you see the convergence of biotech, infotech, and nanotech. When biotech and infotech are contributing to the law of accelerating returns, making biology a, an informational science where we can double the progress, double the power every year. So the question is, will you in this room, will your loved ones, will your, your families, your friends, will you be part of the last generation to die from aging? Or will you be part of the first generation to enjoy extreme long health and longevity? And that's what this whole conference is, is about right now. We are going to be talking about things right now in the next few minutes oh. that will give us, in the worst case, about five to 20 years of uh, life, lifespan extended healthy lifespan, if you're average. It's going to vary from individual to individual, depending on your age, your uh, physical condition, your habits, and so forth. I'm going to be talking about a bridge, ways to help ensure you're still alive and healthy, to be able to take advantage of tomorrow's miraculous technologies. Increasing your odds of being part of that first generation to see extreme life extension. Of course, we're going to be able to accelerate progress, and that's what tomorrow's discussion is going to be all about. So the bridge, the existing technologies and lifestyles that we'll be talking about in a minute, well, you know, could add us about 15 years on average. Um, we want to live as long as possible uh, using today's knowledge, but the Manhattan Beach Project, instead of buying us 15 years, could easily buy us, as astounding as it might seem, 1,500 plus years. Huge difference. Now, I want to talk just real briefly about the um, longevity escape velocity that you've heard Ray Kurzweil talk about, you heard Aubrey de Grey talk about, and essentially that is uh, adding more than one year to your potential lifespan each calendar year in less than 15 years. This is crucial, this is key, and this isn't going to happen automatically. This is going to happen because People like you are going to make it happen. And that means if you can reach longevity escape velocity, there's no guarantee, but that means your projected day of reckoning moves away from you rather than you closing in on it. And that buys us a tremendous amount of time to develop all these fantastic technologies. So the lesson is to hang in there.